Hey, what's happening guys? I am finally feeling better. So we're going to be getting back into some cool projects here pretty soon. Here's a sneak peek at one. Whoop, whoop. You'll see more of that later. Anyway, today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to test a bridge rectifier to make sure it's functioning properly using nothing but a multimeter. This is just a uh, standard bridge rectifier here. I know it's kind of hard to make it out, but there you can see we have plus, AC, AC, and minus. So the first thing you need to know to do this is, you know, what is a bridge rectifier? I'm sure most of you guys already know, but if you don't, it's basically four diodes like this. And this is our plus. Oh, look at that beautiful red marker. This is the minus, and then these two here are our ACs in. So this goes over to uh, AC, usually to a transformer, something like that. And then this comes out here, so positive. That goes to our load. Then it comes back into the negative. So that's basically how a bridge rectifier works. Four diodes. If you're ever wondering how to draw them, just remember all the diodes point towards positive. Real simple to remember. remember. Hmm, beautiful. So, to test a bridge rectifier to find out if it's working, all you really need is a multimeter. So we'll bring out the fluke here, real simple. Put it in diode mode. Now, here's a standard diode. It's like a one in 4007, I think. There's the anode, there's the cathode. We clip it up like that. And you see, we get a voltage drop of about a half a volt. It could be as low as 0.4, it could be as high as 0.7, somewhere in this range. That's a good voltage drop for your basic silicon uh, junction diode. Now, if on the other chance you have <laughs> Schottky diodes, well then you're going to see something different. The voltage drop is going to be much lower. And Schottky diodes and silicon junction diodes look exactly alike so you have to tell by the part numbers anyway so reason I showed you that is so you know what the diode drop looks like so to test what we're gonna do here this is remember this is starting from the left positive AC AC negative we're gonna put our positive lead on the negative and then we're gonna put our negative lead on the AC and you see we have a standard diode drop reverse them and we should have absolutely nothing just like that next we're going to put our positive on the other AC and our negative on the positive and we have another voltage drop or another diode drop. If we reverse them, we get nothing. And this might be particular to this bridge rectifier, but if you connect the positive to the negative in the right direction here, you have nothing. But if you reverse it, you get about a one volt, so you get a double diode drop. Okay? So as long as you're getting those two diode drops, everything is copacetic. All right, let me show you here on the diagram, just so you'll work clear. So step one is you're going to connect your your meter positive 
to the negative on the rectifier. All right? Then you're going to connect meter negative to the AC that's closest to the rectifier. And then you should get your drop. Then if you reverse that, you should get nothing. Open loop. And step three is you put your meter negative on the positive for the rectifier and your meter positive on the AC and you should get a drop. Step four, reverse that and you should get nothing. Step five, meter positive to negative on the rectifier and meter negative to positive on the rectifier. You should get your drop squared or actually not squared, it's drop times two, a double diode drop. All right, so that is a super easy way to test whether or not your bridge rectifier is working or not using nothing more complicated than a multimeter. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to everybody who supports the channel in any way, especially the guys who sent me a some PayPal donations recently. Thank you very much. All right, that's it. I'm out. Peace. Hey, thanks for watching the video, guys. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate the support of everybody who donates via Patreon or PayPal. And another way to help out the channel is to buy things from the Amazon store. There's a link down below. It doesn't cost you anything, and I make a few pennies. We have some fun here, so please feel free to comment on any video. Your comments are always welcome. And you can email me at arduino0169 at gmail.com.